Hello, uh, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. Today we're gonna be looking at how we can generate like a like a pottery, like a how to make a different kind of pots using um, Sverchok. I generally for this kind of modeling task, like a procedural modeling, I will use Sverchok definitely um, because at this moment animation nodes um, like a revolve or lathe operation is not as powerful as virtual um, yeah I'll, I'll show you what I mean okay uh, let's just get started before I get to anything like uh, like using spreadshop or animation nodes I always want to show you how you might be doing it using um, just Blender. With Blender, you actually have a powerful thing called a screw modifier. That's that one, screw modifier, and it works really well with uh, polygons. It's good for making things like screw or stair, or maybe like a telephone cable, so like that kind of spiral thing. Um, I'll show you real quick. So it, normally, I think people can go to let's go to front view and then switch to orthographic. I'm going to merge this cube into a single point at the center. Okay, that's a single point, and with a single point, I'll slightly put it to the side. Um, actually, I don't need to put it to the side. I can just start drawing. So if you if you make like a like a wine glass, like a really bad wine glass. Like that. I'm just hitting E for extruding. I really like Bender extrude for points, really really powerful and you can then just screw it and you get a wine glass even though it's really awful and this is actually still live the effects live and you can go back to front view and then go back to edit mode and then tweak so this is kind of thing that I like uh, working to, to work with because we don't it's not destructive and we can always go back that's I really like screw modifier is perfect as it is and it's really powerful because you can do a lot more like uh, turn it into interesting object do it do iterations this is kind of thing I, I am expecting tools like animation nodes or spreadsheets able to do and apparently we do able to do that um, so I'll just show you real quick um, let's go to front view again I want to just create a pot kind of shape go to front view the fastest way is of course just to draw it using grease pencil and I'll do that so I'm just gonna draw a pot like that And Alt C, no Alt C, it's not just a type space bar, space bar, and then convert grease pencil into Bezier curve. And let's just delete the grease pencil. Where's the curve? Hmm. Let's do it again. Convert grease pencil to Bezier curve. Where's our curve? How weird. Doesn't seem to work. Let me restart. Let's go to front view. View. Uh, front view. Orthographic. And let's just draw the pot. Something like that. And 
and convert this pencil into Bezier curve. Now we got it. Sometimes weird things happen. Save this as virtual pottery lesson. Save it. So this is a curve created using generate uh using wrist pencil. It's actually quite dense if I switch to edit mode you can see so many number of points. I will also turn this into mesh convert to mesh. Now this thing is a mesh and we have even have more points now. That's okay. If we actually lay this uh, revolve uh, with a screw, so we get a pot like that. That's blenders on revolve. It's really cool. I, I like this kind of pottery design. It's very, uh, maybe the Japanese do the pottery like this. They like kind of like imperfections. That's kind of beautiful if we have like a 3D printer and can print that big pottery, that's that would be awesome. Let's go to compositing, let's go how to see how uh Spreadshop does this. I might show you how maybe uh, animation notes does this, but not as beautiful as using Spreadshop. Okay, create a new node 3 in Spreadshop. Now we're gonna be, uh, I'll delete the screw, modify for now, we, we're just gonna be grabbing this curve, okay? Let's get a um, object in, object in, get the selection, and the selection is actually a mesh with uh, just points and edges, vertex, vertices and edges. We want to resemble it. But in Spreadshop, you don't have sample. In animation nodes, you actually have sample nodes that kind of does the job. Spreadshop use something called interpolation, vector interpolation. Let's try the MK3. This that means just the latest version of the node. Let's grab that, and then here we can interpolate it. It looks kind of complex, but not. Viewer draw, plug in the vertices. This guy is gonna be resampling. This guy, you see. If I'm dragging the value, it's go from zero to one. And because this is spread shop, we gotta provide like a list. That's a like a range of floats. Uh, start step from zero to one. Count ten. Okay. That might do the job. Mm. Step. Step no count. That's what we want. Count. Yeah. Start and stop and count. Okay. That's what I want. That's kind of doing a resampling of that curve. The original curve we draw using grease pencil. Now that we have this, we can do a, like a revolve, right? Um, yeah, let's see. In Sverdshop, it's called lath, latte, and the lath is since we already have the resample points here. Let's see the output. Ah, we can. We don't see anything. It's a uh, where did we go wrong okay apparently we need the edges informations just like this we can fix the problem the edges okay with edges so this node is now happy okay there's like a vertices list and edges list but the edges list is not perfect we need to have more edges if this is line it needs to have more lines uh, more points for the line so the number is of course corresponding to the resample 21 21 okay let's just create an integer this number should match 
one and one maybe. Now we have our pot. Our pot resample. Okay, this is a uh, we do the screw again. This is the beautiful uh, pot with a lot of like a uh, variations kind of detail. This guy is smooth, okay? We can bake it and we can have a look. That's the bake versions. We can smooth it and then add subdivisions. And then we can also solidify. Okay. Um, as you can see, actually there's a bit of issues there. That gap. We can take care of the gap. That's actually uh, uh where's the gap? Submerge. Civic of the of the hmm, it's probably the merge thing. Okay, let's bake it again. And then smooth it. Okay. That's the because of the merge. Okay, be careful. Uh careful with the merge thing. Of course with a screw you can do it like uh, do like half, maybe 180. A lot of things you can do at this level. At this uh, with this setup. It's really cool. We want it uh, to merge it. So don't worry about that, don't worry about that. So we have this, we can actually randomize this guy. Uh, see, um, Spreadshop has this handy random randomized input vertices. With Spreadshop, you're thinking less about the looping because the loop happenings uh, in the system. That's what I how I think of it. You can randomize the say randomize the X. Okay, that created it creates that kind of effects. So that can make our pottery has a little bit more definitions. Okay, if that's what you want, um, let me turn off the vertices. So this is a stretch of pottery lessons. Are we done yet? Not, not yet. Because this is stretch up. I want to show you some one more thing, something interesting with a. Let's say if you are we want to do like a. To generate a bunch of um, objects, like a variations of this guy. Yes, we can do that. Just do it like this. Um, putting the vector of the lines in there. Okay, let's have like four of them. Four of them, but they are all the same. No matter how I randomize the seed, it's all the same. So how do we? Take care of that then. Um, yeah, you can see. Let me see. Let me see. Randomize vertices. This is the line. Object in. Vector interpolations. I believe we can just uh, do like a repeat. So there's a list repeater. And we plug that in like four times repeat and unwrap. Mm -hmm. Doesn't quite work yet. Maybe we need to randomize the seed. Probably. Let's do that. Create a range integer range in this account for start step for plugging to the seed it 
we get what we want. Uh, step ten. This is the line. Four. Five. Let's check quickly. Set our scope with the set scope. So that's the the seed value. Let's check the data here. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, okay. Maybe we need to uncheck the unwrap. Let's see where did I make mistakes? This is a uh, that's the resampling. That's the line. This repeater. <laughs> thought it, I thought I did it right. Um, I'll save this and then maybe I open my finished version. Let's check this one. Okay. Vector interpolations and list repeater level one unwrap. This thing is confusing me all some of the all the time. Let's open it. That's the one I have earlier. So we have line. Blah blah blah. List repeater. Unwrap. A seed count. Huh, that's actually funny. Uh, yeah, so apparently we need this guy. Level 1 unwrap. So we need this guy. Looks like... Let me check the stethoscope with the stethoscope node. That's the list we have. And it plugs into the vertices, and we have list repeater just after vector interpolation. So let's get back to our pottery. Maybe this guy is not right. Let's take that off. Random. Random. One, two, three, four. really interesting maybe it's a bug it's definitely a bug <laughs> beam sphere mk2 okay blender just crashed okay don't worry I saved Could be the bug with a with a B mesh viewer. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes that uh, happens, and just something to keep in mind. SV um, pottery two. Don't use that, just uh, use a BMS fever. 
plug in the matrix, plug in the that guy and that guy. Asking for the curve. GP layer. Okay, that's the curve. Let's get selection. Draw vertices matrix. What did I forget? Oh, probably the lines. We get the lines here. Okay, polygon. Okay, get back. Back to where we left off. Venus. Venus MK2 was complaining about the result. So that's Venus MK2. Randomize still working like that. Repeat please. Let's repeat it four times. See it's kind of almost working and regenerate okay that's odd Let's repeat it four times. Let's merge on. Apparently, apparently we don't need merge. Oh, weird. Really weird, okay. But anyway, it's working now. We don't even need the to plug in a weird number into the seed it seems to just work so this repeater here and then everything works really strange <laughs> and we can have less or more of the portraiting and less random and we have pot Pottery with a little bit of randomizations. Maybe this guy can also smooth smooth shades. Oh, it does. It's nice. And good, good. Everything works now. And since this is virtual, instead of we can we can have more or less. And the number, of course, we need to be aware of is the the number of copy we, we create so now each copy is actually different as you can see beautiful and if you plug in perhaps like a grid or plane it's what you call it plane you can have how many do you want 16 let's make 16 pottery 16 pottery and 16 repeat so each one is of them is different 
Well, they're supposed to be different. Huh. I got a, another gotcha. How odd. Hmm. Hmm. Probably I just found a bug. So let's this repeater. Maybe turn off the smooth shade. They are all looking almost the same. Maybe they are different. They are the same. Oh no, they are they are actually different. Each one of them is slightly different. Okay. Yeah, what's wrong? They are all different. Uh, may need to take care of the bottom there, but no problem. Yeah, so you can randomize for the, each one of them. Seems to be working, all good. You can have more even. Uh, maybe the length of the vertices can go into that number so we can now increase the pottery and everything will update accordingly that's a factory of pottery for you so if we increase the sampling Everything will update and looks good. Maybe less of that. They are all slightly different. Maybe I can give it a color even, but I'm not going to do that. But there you go. Pottery for you if you want, of course. Matrix um, scale can give us some kind of variation as well. Let's try. Uh, let's try random, random scale with a random. Okay, let's make eighty random value and then scale. Let's uh, remap the value. Random value old mean zero to one min max one to two to six maybe and plug into the scale. Scale not happy. Scale need a vector. Vector in one two three. Vector in scale, but we only want to scale in the z axis. Everything else can go to one. So we get that's kind of more beautiful looking of pottery. <laughs> more random as well. Um, and the revolve, where's the revolve? Can have more step. So it's more smooth. This is more like a kind of Turkish kind of design. Beautiful, long, or maybe even Aboriginal, Australian Aboriginal pottery. Looks like that. And you know what? Um, let's see. For each one of these, can we give a random object color? That can be something for animation node. So um, with Virtual, see. Uh, that's probably something we can just use cycle to do that, you know. Okay, just let's do it. Uh, let's go to cycles, cycle render, create a new material, SV material. So this is going to be applied to its objects, I believe. So now if you go to cycles, SV material, it's being used by 81 of this object and if we have like object info random 
random, random uh, color ramp. And let's pick a color. And then pick another color. Put it there. Put it random here. This guy, hopefully, be different value, a different color, okay? So that can be constant. Have another one. This color is yellow or blue. Different objects will have like a different color. We if we use object index, uh, not so interesting. Could have a better looking pottery. What's a pottery? The color of pottery more dark. Turn on the brightness level. Yeah, so there you go. There's a how you create a factory of pottery using SphereJob. I think for now, animation nodes, uh, animation nodes have a revolve spline, but this is a little bit. A little bit weird here because you need two splines, uh, one spline as the spine and another one as the profile. The spine itself needs to be a spline. This is like what? Well, I don't like that. <laughs> the yeah, it's not so convenient to use. I rather use the SpreadShop one in this case. SpreadShop SV lab latte late node that's the one I will use um, and just because spreadshop also able to randomize the curve quite easily and make a, a something like this with just very small number of nodes I found it really really powerful so Hope you like this uh, video lessons and you find it useful. If you you are happy, you can leave comments and you can like it and you can subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for tuning.